Tony, you say this, and I think it's interesting, it's refreshing. The big call for us going into year-end is there is no big call to make. Tony, just explain that a little bit more. Well, the title of the note was Chillax. So when you look at the kitchen behind me, that, that comes from my teenagers used to come in and I they do something that they thought was fun and I thought was outrageous. And I, they would say, would you chill out or would you relax? And so we got the family thing of Chillax. And I think that's what investors need to do after the, the markets had this. It was an identifiable catalyst off that October 27th market. You had an extreme historic oversold condition coupled with, I mean, real catalyst. You had a bond market unlike today, spiking to 5% of the 10-year with a Treasury refunding coming up, a Fed meeting coming up, and a payroll data point coming up all in the same week. But the move we've had has pretty much met the parameters of what happens in the fourth quarter of a pre-election year, what happens after three negative consecutive months of August, September, October. So we've had the great rally, and now it's just kind of a chillax. What do you chillax. make of the fact that, yes, you might be saying chillax, but a lot of this has been driven by the bond market and people are hearing what they want to hear and psychoanalyzing what Jay Powell really means rather than what he's actually saying? At least a, a month ago, the bears are totally right. The bond market was telling you inflation's going to spike and the economy's too hot, and that was wrong. So am I supposed to now believe, because the bond market's collapsing in terms of yield, that that's telling us that something's correct? I think the problem in the marketplace here is the market has a move, kind mm -hmm. of we, we get the tail moves us so that we have a narrative that's now based on the move when the prior moves were wrong. So I think your word psychoanalysis is, is great. I, it's been my belief this entire year, I have not changed our view that we're gonna see a recession. And at some point, which I think we're at that point, inflation's not the problem. It had The core PCE peaked in February of 2022. So, it's accelerating to the downside. Inflation is not the problem. Earnings growth and economic activity, I think, is the problem.